What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different and that is going to be a clean with me. I am cleaning and organizing everything from my beauty room from top to bottom including the closet that is inside. So if you are interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. <music> All right, you guys, before we get into the video, we are going to start off with another set of Dossier perfumes. You guys know that I love these. I always love to go over the two scents that I have for the month, and this month is Oriental Cherry. This is always just as much as a surprise for me as it is for you. These are amazing. They're super nice and luxurious and high-end and super affordable. Now, this one is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So if that's something that you wear, then this is what this perfume is inspired by. I love the components of these bottles. I think that they're so beautiful and luxurious. I love the clear and simplistic aesthetic. And of course, the best part, I always talk about the magnetized top. So we are going to smell what Oriental Cherry smells like and see if it's a go. Oh, this is wonderfully fresh and summery smelling. It smells so beautiful and light. It definitely has the notes of cherry in there and I do smell a little bit of almond as well. It has more of a sweet smell. So if you are into Tom Ford Lost Cherry or you like a really nice summery, sweet, almond, fruity smell, then you should definitely try Oriental Cherry. I think that this is a really nice, good staple for the summer season. So let's move on to the second one and see what that one smells like. This one is Citrus Ginger. Oh, you know, I can't go wrong with anything citrus. This one is also inspired by Chanel Blue. Oh, I have not tried that. I've actually tried Chanel Chance in the past before, and I really enjoy that. So I'm eager to see what the Citrus Ginger smells like. So let's go ahead and give this one a little bit of a spray. Oh my gosh, this smells so refreshing and clean. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I definitely love this. Um, out of the two, if I had to pick, I would definitely choose this one. This is very citrusy. This is very like sweet and strong, if that makes sense. So a very sweet but strong smell, not like a sweet light smell. I really enjoy this. This definitely does remind me of something by Chanel. They have really nice, strong, potent scents and I really do enjoy this. So I will, of course, as always, leave everything linked in the description box down below. So if you were interested in trying any of these or even other Dossier perfumes, I will link everything in the description box. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, we are starting off with the basics and that is going to be getting some light going on in this room and cleaning up, putting away laundry, hanging up clothes, all of the normal standard stuff that you do before you prep the area and get it ready for a nice purge session. I love this little accessory right here. I will link it, it's from Amazon and I use this to have my sets together on one hanger and it is so cute, comes in so many different colors and super affordable. I also had another Amazon favorite that I will be showing you later on that I will be linking in the description box, which is going to be an amazing Roman shade. So again, I am just taking all of my newer stuff and hanging it on this little clothing rack. And then I'm going to be putting away all of my clothes, all of my accessories, all of my laundry, all of that stuff, just so everything is off of the floor and I have a clean space to work with before I start purging. Now the current state of this closet isn't bad, I just feel like I could make it better. The idea is to just get it a little bit more organized and have it a little bit more cohesive. So I have these three shoe racks that have been here for, it feels like a decade, and I just am not loving them anymore. So you'll see throughout this process, I'm just going to purge old stuff that I don't like anymore and then also reorganize the actual closet by initially taking out just one of the shoe racks. 
and I'm going to see if I can just make a little bit more space because it was a little cramped having all three of those in there. So I'm going to take all of the shoes out, go through them, get rid of the ones that I want to donate or sell, and then actually mess around with the shoe racks to see if I can just put two in this closet instead of one. It's also good to vacuum and dust because it is amazing with shoes how much dust really can be on the baseboards and below the shoe racks. I also love using that little blue concoction there which is my favorite of white distilled vinegar and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. It's so good. I use it for everything including dusting my baseboards. Now I have these beautiful black baskets which I'm going to initially use to put all of my slippers and some of my sandals in and just keep two of those shoe racks at the bottom of the closet. So as you can see now that I've gone through all the shoes that I want to donate and get rid of, I'm going to put them back onto the shoe racks so that I have a little bit more organization. And of course, the main objection here is to not have too much clutter because if you can't see it, then you can't use it. And that is a rule that I love to live by. So I'm just putting all of my shoes back here and then deciding what I'm going to do as far as organization. And this is going to be one of them. I'm going to swap out this clothing rack, which I love, but it's a little bit too cramped for me for the same version without the shelves. And I will link both of these below. They are so amazing and so affordable. They sell them on Walmart and Amazon. So I'll see which one is currently available and link it for you. And now I'm just going to change up because those shelves are gonna be gone. I need to find a new home for my costume jewelry and my sunglasses, which I'm doing right now, just kind of figuring out what can go where. So I'm just gonna swap this out for a smaller version. And I think this is a little bit better suited for this space. And as you can see on the bottom rack, I have two new bags from Target, which I love and cannot wait to use, including that little red plastic purse. Now this is the Roman shade that I'm going to be swapping out. The old one was from Ikea and I like it, but I wanted something more oversized that was going to fit over top of the window, sit a little bit higher up and be a little bit wider. And this one I love because I will show you at the end the way that you pull it down and push it up. There are no cords, no strings. It is so easy to use and I absolutely love it. I of course will link it for you. Now moving on to getting rid of the rest of the stuff and then that one single shoe rack because we now just have two in the closet. I'm going to vacuum up the space, clear out all of the stuff that I used to hang up the Roman shade, get that other clothing rack out of the way and dust those baseboards. I don't know why this side of the house is always so much more dusty than the kitchen and guest room area. So this is what I'm currently working with. These are the existing shelves in the existing organization. As you can see, I just did a little bit of organizing with those shoe shelves and I just was not happy with the way that it was looking. I felt like it could be a lot better. So what I'm going to do is go back to the drawing board and figure out how I can organize this better, how I can make it a little bit more cohesive. And I decided to do my favorite, a Target run. So what I did was I also went to Lowe's on the way back from Target and got two more of those shelves. As you can see there at the bottom, as well as these beautiful felt structured box or bins to put all of my off season stuff or just stuff that I don't wear very often. And I'm going to start off by putting them and transferring them from just sitting on the, that top, top shelf, which you can't see and transferring them into these felt boxes and making sure that I have enough clearance to put them up so they're just stored at the top shelf. And then I got those two extra shelves. As you can see, I've, I've placed one of them underneath, which is right at the bottom, and I'm going to put my shoes on those actual shelves. So what I'm doing now is just transferring everything into those felt boxes, making sure that I can actually get them up on that shelf because initially I did not measure right and I had to move the shelf down and these are very easy to move I love this system but it is a little bit heavy so I had to use a little bit of muscle to make sure that they were all good to go and then I'm going to move the other shelves up so I have space to put two shoe shelves on the bottom I feel like this is going to look a little bit more put together and seamless because they're all going to match I also want to talk about these acrylic dividers. They are so bomb and so amazing. Also the home edit line that I use for my socks, bras, underwear, all of that stuff, which I will link all of these for you. They are my favorite. I have tried so many different things and I will never go back, especially with these acrylic dividers. I just think that they're the most aesthetically pleasing and useful item that I have ever gotten for my closet. So as you can see, now I have two of those shoe shelves. It's so much more seamless and so much more 
aesthetically pleasing now that everything matches and this is what we are working with those are the bins at the top the shoe shelves on the bottom and then I got a couple of extra bins to match everything in the middle just putting my biker shorts leggings pajamas anything like that in there and I love the way that this turned out this is exactly what I wanted it was super easy to do and I will link everything in the description box so if you're looking to do something like this do a little spring cleaning a little summer organization then this is a perfect easy way to do it and this is the way that my room is looking now I love it it's very open light and bright and clean which is the best part I also love this little new accent table which I will link for you it is my favorite and I love the way that this room turned out let me know what you guys think in the comment box down below all right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will leave everything that I used linked in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.